Welcome to another edition of Colonel's Corner. Today we bring in Wilkes University men's ice hockey head coach, Tyler Hines. Thanks for joining us, Tyler. Happy to be here again, Mark. Awesome. We're excited to talk to you about the UCHC championship game coming up on Saturday night, 7 p.m. in Utica, their big AHL style um, arena to play in. You guys have played there plenty of times over the past four years. Um, talk to us a little bit about this matchup, what's on the line, the NCAA tournament automatic berth, um, and really just um, played this team really close two times this season, losing in their building by one goal early in the season in December, and then tying them in the Toyota Sportsplex earlier in February. So just talk to us about this matchup that's going to be exciting. Yeah, no, you did a great job kind of prefacing it and setting the stage. I think that's exactly what we have ahead of us. It's, you know, kind of what you envision in, in winning this league. It's probably going to require going to Utica and doing it in their building. The exciting thing is we have a group that's been there more than four times now. I mean, at least four each year. But, um, you know, I've been here every step of the way and seen what the locker room was like in year one, year two, year three. And there was belief then. Um, now there's a composed excitement. I wouldn't say it's over the top and hooting and hollering and we know what's ahead of us. And, um, you know, we know the sacrifice, the toil, we know what it's going to take. We've beat them last year. Um, last three times we played them, beat them once last year, they beat us this year and then we tied. So this is kind of the rubber match for that. But more importantly, like you said, to speak to kind of the NCAA component to this, that's where it gets interesting. And that's where to be honest, myself and, and Lucas Bombardier on our staff here have been, you know, crunching the numbers and trying to get a picture of things. But um, I think you, when you and I were talking before this call, you know, taking care of business and making sure that the math doesn't get involved is probably the best approach. And that's the approach that we're taking. We're a team that controls its own destiny at this point. And there aren't many teams left that can say that. I know there's some that are, you know, all they have to do is crunch numbers right now. And um, we feel fortunate to be in, in I told you last time we talked, I think this is the best league in the country, deep, strong. Every night is a war um, to be the two teams left playing in at one of those two to get another week of practice for everyone on our team and our roster and the future of this program is huge. And um, it's going to be a really good hockey game. I think both teams have a lot on the line. Both teams are going to bring it and both teams probably don't like each other too much. It's been like this a lot. They've had the upper hand and there's no doubt about that, but we're a team kind of built and um, full of guys, myself, my staff included, that um, are hungry, are dogs. We were like that as players. We're like that as coaches. And it's so much fun coaching a group that is just the same way. And they want this competition and they are hungry for it. They're humble about it. But um, we're really, really passionate about what we're doing here. And this is the culmination of it all. So um, I guess that sets the stage, too. It certainly does, Tyler. And the Looking forward to watching some high-level hockey. Both teams have 11 of the 13 players named to the either first or second team of the UCHC just earlier today will be um, on these two teams. So definitely just talent up and down both lineups. I know the game at the Toyota Sportsplex that we got to watch the other day um, or earlier in February on the 12th, I thought it was just terrific high-level hockey. Um, are you just excited to be a part of that, um, leading this Wilkes University program in such a such a game that you, a sport you love, obviously you coach it, but just to watch this terrific game you're probably going to see on Saturday night. 100%, 100%. I remember the last time we played them, that, to, that game that you were talking about, and I did just kind of take a deep breath and step back. I think it was like during the second or third period and just kind of like, wow, this is this is a great hockey game. This time it's the number two team in the country in Utica versus the number eight team in the country in Wilkes. And, um, you know, that's a position that we're comfortable in being the underdog. It's been like that every step of the way, but we're fortunate to have a top program like Utica every year, you know, you're going to get to measure yourself against the best. And that's all we want to do. That's what this group came here to do. And most of these guys four years ago came here to build a program that could stand toe to toe with the big guns in college hockey and we've done that. I'm really excited about it right now. We're still kind of in game plan mode and preparation mode. And, 
even though it really probably comes down to habits and discipline and things that are, you know, kind of the haze in the barn at this point, I still feel like there's little ways that, that we can improve, that we can sharpen ourselves and, um, you know, make sure we're as tough and um, organized as we can be going into this weekend. It's tough to communicate with 4,000 people, um, but it's an environment that I know at Wilkes we welcome. Awesome, Tyler. Well, we look forward to watching this game on Saturday night. The Wilkes University men's ice hockey team takes on Utica College, Utica University, sorry. Yeah. And Saturday night for the UCHC championship with the NCAA automatic berth online. Tyler, thanks for joining us. Pretty cool. Thanks, Mark.